Most so-called business experts on social media are not experts. They're downright liars. I was never concerned with building a personal brand, man. I was concerned about building a real business. I was in business 18 years before I ever posted on Facebook. Yeah, but it's hard to fathom. But for my first company, I went dumpster diving for our office furniture. I'm dead, dead broke, right? This is the first first business I'm starting in college. And we've got this shithole of a closet. But I rented, and I'm not shitting you, it was probably six by eight. Right, and so I think I think I gave him like you know 125 bucks a month, but I had no furniture. Right, you know, in this office park, people every now and then would throw out an, an old chair or a beat up desk that they didn't want or a printer or something. And literally at night, my business partner and I would come and go dumpster diving to get our furniture. Right, and so like you know, one day we'd had a you know we'd had our setup, a desk, a chair. You know, and three weeks later, we got a better chair because we got a better one from the dumpster. But dude, that's how it happened, man. That's the story that doesn't get told anymore, buddy. Everybody has to show how good things are. The fake gurus have to pretend that the American dream is alive and well and it's available to everybody. It's not. It's a lie. Dude, the struggle is real. Schools don't teach businesses. Families don't teach business. So what does everybody do? They quit their good job because some tool on social media told them that being an entrepreneur is better. It's such bullshit. The schools and social media are failing the American business owners. My third client ever um, <clears throat> ran his landscaping company out of this building. And through those metal gates up the stairs was a, a, a like, like, two sizes bigger than your money lab yeah it fit three desks and that was our first office awesome. 2400 arbuckle court and i thought this was uptown the taj mahal i'm not kidding you <laughs> i know it sounds crazy to think about it but i'm serious i thought this was the taj mahal this freaking office 2400 arbuckle court and I'll never forget, I came in one day and somebody had driven a car through the front of this window here, right? Smashed out the whole place. It was different. There wasn't that wall. There was like one big open space. And they stole all our computers, monitors, everything like that. The paper was like blowing in the wind. So we had to pony up the money to get these windows fixed. And I came up with this idea. I said, how could we prevent this from happening? I got an idea. Let, I'm gonna go to the hardware store and I'll buy black electrical tape <laughs> and, and I'll tape these windows up and down make it look like there's bars on these windows nobody would be stupid enough to drive through if there's bars on it right most entrepreneurs will never experience the small business dream they expected because they don't know the language of real business judge i got an idea let's do a boot camp we can call it the attack and conquer boot camp let's bring business owners to us in dallas once a month and let's unpack everything we know. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby.